Good morning, children. We discussed the chapter, The Cockroach That Wrote Music. We have discussed some paragraphs and we had to continue with other paragraphs. Cockroach moved towards the blob of ink. What's the meaning of blob? Blob means shapeless mass. What's the meaning? Shapeless mass. Means what? We just take a drop of ink and drop it on a paper. What happens? It can have any shape, right? May not have any shape also. So, here one drop had fallen on a paper. So, that blob of ink was there on a paper. That insect, which insect was it? It was cockroach. Cockroach moved towards that ink. Is it clear? Then what happened? His front legs busily tried to gather another droplet. But by now, the ink had soaked into the paper. It moved towards the blob of ink. Then his front legs busily tried to gather another droplet. Gather means what? Collect. So, it busily tried to collect another droplet because it wanted to write music. But by now, the ink had soaked into the paper. You just take a drop of ink, drop it on a paper and leave for some time. What happens? It will be soaked there. It will be absorbed. Paper will become wet. You will not get that ink, right? So, when the cockroach tried to get that blob of ink, it could not get because it had soaked into the paper. Then what happened? He scampered backward and forward over the homework page, but there were no more spilt drops of ink left to use. He scampered backward and forward. Scampered. What's the meaning of scampered? Scampered means more quickly. As we got to know that cockroach was a small cockroach. So, with the short light steps, it moved quickly there. How did it move? It moved backward and forward. Means it went back and it came front because it was searching for a droplet of ink. So, it searched there backward and forward over the homework page. So, on the homework page, it was searching for that ink. But there were no spilt drops of ink left to use it did not get any ink there spilt means it's the past tense of spill so there were no spilt drops of ink left to use finally he sat back with head raised and moved his feelers questioningly it wanted to write music it wanted another droplet it did not get it so, no ink was spilled on a paper. Then what did it do? It sat back because it did not get the ink. With head raised, means there was a question in its head actually. So, it was asking that question to Benzi and moved his feelers questioningly. So, feelers means to a cockroach, you, you might have seen this type of structure, right? So, these are called as feelers. They feel using those feelers. So, it moved these feelers questioningly. So, it was asking a question about where is the ink? How to write that musical note? Then, Benzi gently lifted the pan, dipped it in the bottle and placed it upside down on the homework page. He was observing. So, Benzi got what exactly Cockroach was trying to say. What he did? He gently lifted the pen. Gently means softly. So, he softly lifted the pen because he didn't want to hurt that small cockroach. After lifting the pen, what did he do? He dipped it in the bottle. Why? He had to take the ink there. After taking the ink, he placed it upside down. 
that ink should not fall down, right? That's why he made the pen to be upside down on the homework page. Did cockroach get what it wanted? Yes, it got it now. So, immediately cockroach ran towards the nib and set about gathering a droplet without even a thank you. He walked towards the second line and continued working. It was waiting for that actually. So, immediately, suddenly, cockroach ran towards the nib. On the nib, there was ink now. He placed it upside down. So, it wanted to take that ink. It was in a hurry to take it and set about gathering a droplet. Set about means it was about to start to gather a drop of ink. Gather means collect. Without even a thank you. It even didn't have time to say thank you. It just wanted that and it wanted to work. He walked towards the second line and continued working. Why it moved towards the second line? Already in the previous class, we completed that. It had written a line of music. It had completed that line of music. After that, again it wanted ink. For that reason, here it asked questioningly and then it got the ink and it started its work. Benzie got up and walked into the kitchen, wondering if he was in some sort of a strange movie. Now, cockroach had started its work. Benzi did not have any work. So, what did he do? He got up. Why did he go get up? Because he wanted to go to kitchen. So, he got up and he walked into the kitchen, wondering if he was in some sort of a strange movie. If any cockroach comes in front of you and it starts to do some dance or it starts to sing or it starts to write music, do you believe it? Don't you think it is unusual? Means strange. So, same experience had happened to Benzi. He was wondering if he was in some sort of a strange movie. He was thinking whether he was watching any strange movie or was it real. So, he could not believe himself. Previously also we saw that uh, he was thinking whether he was dreaming or not. So, he was still in confusion. Anyway, he moved to the kitchen now. He picked a piece out of a fruit cake. So, why did he go there? He wanted to get some food. He picked a piece out of a fruit cake. There was a fruit cake. So, from that he just took a piece and broke off a corner of a biscuit. And also there was one biscuit. He broke off one corner means little bit of biscuit he took and piece of a fruit cake he took. Then he went to the drawer. Why did he go? Matches were kept there. He emptied a full box into a corner of it. Did you understand the story, children? Previously, we had understood that it had written one line of music. In this paragraph, what happened? It wanted to write the second line. It moved towards the blob of ink, but it did not get another droplet there. So, it moved its feelers questioningly. Benzi understood that. He took the ink from his pen and then he placed the nib upside down so that cockroach could reach it. Cockroach started to work. When it started to work, Benzi went to the kitchen to get some food for that cockroach. And also, he wanted to get one matchbox. Why did he want that matchbox? We'll see in the next paragraph. When he returned, cockroach had almost used up the ink from the nib. Benzi placed cake crumbs on one corner of the homework page and biscuit crumbs on the other. Where did he return from? He returned from kitchen, right? What did he bring from there? He brought three things. Which were the three things?
cake crumbs, biscuit crumbs and one match box. So when he returned from the kitchen, cockroach had almost used up the ink from the nib. He had dipped that nib, he had placed that nib upside down so that cockroach could take the ink and write the homework. So when he returned from the kitchen, cockroach had almost completed its homework. There was one homework page. It was writing on that homework page. Benzi placed cake crumbs on one corner of the homework page. And on other corner, what did he place? He placed biscuit crumbs. Then what did he do with that matchbox? We'll see the next line. The empty matchbox was lowered onto the desk. So, there was one empty matchbox. He lowered that on the desk. Why? We'll see the next lines. Yes, after all the heavy work, cockroach was ready for a snack. Benzi felt that music homework was a nuisance. It was a stupid homework. He didn't like it. He could not do it. He felt it was difficult. That difficult work was done by a cockroach. So it was a heavy work for it. After that heavy work, it was ready for a snack. It was hungry. It wanted to eat something. When he kept that cake crumbs and biscuit crumbs, he inspected the cake and then the biscuit. Inspected means he tested. Because how could that cockroach believe one person, a man? So, cockroach inspected that cake and the biscuit, whether he could eat it or not, it was checking there. And after a few seconds of feeler twitching, feeler twitching means it moved its feelers front and back. Why? Because it wanted to chuck. So after moving its feeler, it decided on cake, means it decided to eat the cake. So it got one belief. It thought it could eat that. So it decided to eat that cake. We will go to the next paragraph now. The empty matchbox was treated with suspicion at first. What's the meaning of suspicion? Suspicion means doubt. Who doubted about that empty matchbox? Cockroach. Benzi took some food and he brought it for cockroach. He also took one empty matchbox. Can you guess why he brought it? That could be a house, right? That was a small cockroach. So definitely one matchbox could be its house. So he brought that empty box and kept it on a desk. Cockroach at the beginning doubted him. So it treated that matchbox with suspicion. As soon as cockroach climbed into it, though it was doubtful, it climbed into it. When it climbed into it, cardboard moved slightly. Since there was a movement, that cardboard moved slightly. Slightly means a little bit it moved here and there. That sent cockroach scurrying to the corner from where he nervously regarded his new home. That sent cockroach scurrying to the corner means what? Move in a quick step. So, cockroach suddenly moved to the corner. After moving to the corner, he nervously, he was scared. So, he nervously regarded his new home. We just observe here that writer is using the word he for that cockroach. So, that cockroach was nervous and regarded his new home. Regarded means what? It looked at something in a particular way. So, it was doubtful about it. Though it was doubtful, it went inside. At that time, since it moved a little bit, it was doubtful. So, it wanted to check whether any danger was there for it or not. So, it checked that. Benzi wondered if he should have lined the matchbox with a piece of tissue. If he kept a tissue, 
it would have been soft for that. So, when it was nervous, Benzie wondered. He thought if he could have kept a piece of tissue, it would have been better. Bravely, Cockroach moved forward again and climbed right into his new home. Bravely means courageously. So, first it was doubtful, but now, bravely it moved forward again and climbed right into his new home. It felt confident about Benzi and his new home, so it climbed into it. After a few inspection turns, he appeared to be satisfied and settled down on an afternoon nap. After a few inspection turns, inspection means it chucked for a few minutes. After that, it appeared to be satisfied. It felt confident about him. So, it settled down on the afternoon nap. Nap means what? Sleep. So, they are saying that that was an afternoon. In that afternoon, it wanted to have a sleep and it felt comfortable with that house. It wanted to sleep at that time now. Benzi sank back on his bed and let out a sigh. Sank back means what? He moved back comfortably. He moved back comfortably. So, Benzi moved back on his bed comfortably. Why was he comfortable now? Because Cockroach had done his homework and Cockroach also rested now. So, he felt relaxed. So, he sat back on his bed in a relaxed way and also he let out a sigh. Sigh means, see, when you feel uh, relaxed, you will say, off over right so that type of a sigh was that there it was cockroach music a bit untidy but nevertheless original cockroach creation what was that there it was cockroach music so cockroach music was ready on his homework page a bit untidy obviously that was not done by a human being it was done by an insect so it was a bit untidy Untidy means not clean. Tidy means clean. Untidy means not clean. Not clean. So, bit. Not more actually. A little bit untidy. But, nevertheless, virginal cockroach creation. Though it was a bit untidy, it was cockroach creation. Virginal cockroach creation. The next thing was to show the musical piece to mum. So now homework was over. What he had to do? He had to show that musical piece to his mum. Benzi was sure she would be pleased with the amazing music Cockroach had written. Pleased means happy. So he was sure that his mother would be definitely happy with that amazing music cockroach. Amazing because it was done by a cockroach. Did you like this story children? I liked it very much. What an imagination. How nice it would be. An insect coming and doing your homework. That too. Which homework you hate. If that homework was done by someone else, how do you feel it? So nice to imagine, right? Have you written any imaginary stories? Why can't you try it now? Give it a try, okay?